leftovers. <laughs> Good morning! It is Tuesday of a long weekend, so it feels like a Monday. We had a, well, I had a nice little sleep in. Sage woke up at 10 to 6, and then I thought, okay, maybe she'll go back to sleep. Lately, she wakes up around 6, and she's like up for the day, but it was still quite dark this morning, and then she ended up falling asleep next to me. Matt still woke up. Matt's been like on his like game, like just getting up right at 6, and I'll just get up when Sage is done nursing and she fell asleep next to me until like 7 30 so that was so cute because like i was probably up like after seven but i was just watching her and like closing my eyes it's so cute to be able to like watch her sleep because she's always sleeping in her room now and it's just like those precious moments i just soak in so today i'm actually going to share a what i eat in a day and also what sage eats since you guys really liked the last one i did i'll link that here and sage is officially almost 10 months which is nuts like how the frig do I have a 10 month old and her birthday's in two months I don't know I've already started thinking about that and trying to plan it so I'm just gonna make the bed and then I'll figure out what I'm having for breakfast we usually have like a light breakfast before we go for our morning walk and then I'll come back and have a second breakfast really nothing's changed since pre parenthood I always like two breakfasts if I can squeeze them in <laughs> finish heating up some pancakes and some blueberries that we had in the fridge and then I'm just going to add on some of this plant-based mango coconut yogurt the most delicious thing ever and Sage really likes it so, has some probiotics some healthy fats from the coconut and there's no salt so that is Sage's breakfast. Usually she eats oatmeal in the morning, but I think she's been getting sick of it, so we're trying to switch it up with some pancakes and just some new things. Good morning. Cashew's never far. Hi. Yeah, Cashew's there. Oh, it smells nice. Look at those purple lips. Baby's first lipstick. Delish. So delicious when I take that extra second and step to froth the milk. I'm having issues saying froth to frothed. Oh, someone's enjoying their blueberries. Have some yogurt? If she can't hold it, she's like, I don't want it. Get those blueberry hands away from me. I got the blind light going on. Okay, so I'm just getting dressed for a walk. I'm wearing my Bonja Motherhood shirt. I'm gonna slap on some of this Kula, what's it called? Unscented Matte Tint Mineral Sunscreen. I like it, it's kind of like a mousse coming out. You see that? And it gives me some sun protection. It mattifies. Feels very smooth on the skin. I like it. I swear, as soon as September 1st hit, fall weather. Even though it's still technically summer, it feels like fall. So, sweater it is. I'm going with the mom theme, my mama sweater. I'll link this down below. I love it. We have a dada sweater and we have a mini 
onesie for Sage, but now it's too small. This is from when she was a newborn. I'm gonna put on some deodorant, which sadly, we are sold out right now with the pit refresh. So make sure you guys sign up via email to get notified as soon as it's back in stock. And then I'll hopefully let you guys know on Instagram too. But I know I've been getting a lot of emails about it. It's just out of stock right now. It's sold out. It's our one of our best sellers. That and my lip balm, which is my lip butter, which is the best lip balm ever. It's like super big, like a chunky, like a jumbo glue stick. It's huge. You will not lose it in your purse or your bag or your backpack now that it's back to school. And it's kind of like a multi-purpose stick. Like you could use it under your eyes. You could use it on your cuticles. It's so moisturizing. It has mango butter, sea buckthorn oil, which are two of my favorite ingredients. And this one is in blood orange and it has tangerine essential oil to scent it. And it's heavenly. So I am ready. I'm going to probably put a hat on to hide this hair. I'm ready to go. I also have no idea where my baseball cap is and so I've just been stealing mats lately. It's a little big but he doesn't mind. Let's get you dressed. Let's get you dressed. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and just like that we are dressed even though you wrestled and cried and fought every minute of it. Look they're starting to get too small. Your sweats. Could get you some socks on. Having a quick little yogurt and granola bowl. This is one from the blog. It's my simple granola that I made this weekend. All right, I just finished a quick little like 15 minute mobility stretch and I'm gonna make a quick green smoothie before the team call this morning. So let's, we'll just do like a time lapse. make extra for Matt. He's just at the gym right now, but he'll have his when he gets back. Hi, Seiji. Seiji was like watching me work out. It was so cute. All right, so morning calls are done. I'm just in the kitchen now. I'm actually working on some recipes for the blog. I'm just cooking them and shooting them, and I'm just having a little snack, so I should, thought I'd show you guys what I'm having. I'm gonna have some banana chips, some of these mixed nuts, and a Gouda baby bell. Um, it's already after 12, so I'm getting a little hungry, but I wanna finish shooting this and then I'll like have my official lunch. Sage also went down for her morning nap later than usual, so she just woke up a little while ago and she'll probably want lunch soon. So I'm just gonna heat up her food. She'll probably eat first and then I'll make something quick. But I'm gonna have some snacks first. Mm. I love banana and cheese together. It's such a good combo. Usually I have fresh banana, but banana chips today. So Sage is having some pasta with this bolognese sauce I made. It's a mixture of like beef and lentils and tomato and other things and just some peaches I still had left over from the farmer's market. This is the pasta that we're using. So this is the first time she's having like actual pasta and that's not blended up. Uh, this is just a chickpea one. I'm just using this one because it's small, but she's not like on a, a gluten-free diet or anything. Um, she'll have regular pasta too. This is just like a smaller one, so I thought it'd be easier for her to eat. So Seiji is digging the pasta. Is that good sauce? Yeah, and she's definitely going for the peach. Oh, no. Oh, that's mom's timer. Recipe testing. Good? More? More? Oh, you're close. Ooh. So for lunch, we are actually having leftovers from last night. I made a potato salad. I did cedar plank salmon 
and asparagus and corn and all the things but I think I'm just gonna have some of the potato salad with some shredded salmon right on top and just eat it cold I think that'll that'll be like a nice mix Gigi's over This is a moo. Moo. <laughs> moo. Can you say moo? I'm also just gonna take some vitamins with some water. So Seiji is not napping today, so I'm just gonna put some frozen mango in one of these little like feeders. These are great, especially for teething babies. Poor thing, I think, is just teething, and also I think because she slept in today, her like sleep is off. Anyways, these are great because they have, I don't know if it's focusing. They have these like little holes in them and it's silicone so it's easy for them to like gum at. Someone's having a hard afternoon, huh? Do you want your popsicle? And I actually have these linked in my baby food resources blog post where we have everything that we use, like tools and stuff for feeding sage. So you guys can check that out. I'll link it down below. And these, they're a hit. Feels nice on the gums, huh? Can mommy try? Yeah, I think her gums are bothering her. Oh, <laughs> she just whacked me in the face. So I'll usually do mango or frozen banana, and those are like good go-tos. You can put fresh uh, fruit in there as well. I mean, you can put anything in there. Yeah. All right, so for Sage's dinner, gonna have some eggs and broccoli I just cracked an egg in there I'm heating up the pan with some ghee and then for some greens and iron I'm gonna add some broccoli I'm just gonna chop some up and saute it first to soften it before I add in the egg and then I'll figure out like what kind of fruit I'm gonna add on the side I'm also gonna add some avocado on the side. Now, I really like this little crinkle cutter gadget. You can easily just cut it that way and crosswise, and it makes it so it's easier for them to hold because it has like that zigzag shape. And this one's a little brown in the middle, but it's fine. And I just find it's like a really easy way to, to chop it up. And just like that, I've made a mess already. But for her fruit, I'm actually just gonna grate up some apple. This is a really easy way for them to eat a hard fruit, like apple or pear, if they're not super soft. So I'm just gonna grate that. I'm just steaming the broccoli, which it's pretty much ready to go. I scrambled the egg up and added just a tiny bit of some garlic powder. I've been really trying to just have Sage try different spices and herbs and stuff just to like give her new flavors to try. You just wanna make sure you're not doing anything spicy or salty. And then I'm just gonna mix that in with the egg. I just like to steam it first so it's soft before it goes into the egg. Okay, and then I just do like a soft scramble. And I'm just gonna eat the rest of the apple because <laughs> uh, baby leftovers. <laughs> Never mind. I have this piece I didn't drop. So we got apple, avocado, and eggs with broccoli. All right, I'm gonna have a little apple and peanut butter. Sage's dinner was making me crave a little snack, so comment down below. Are you guys a crunchy or smooth kind of peanut butter person? I'll eat both, but I feel like some people are strongly against one or the other. Smooth? smooth? Yeah. All right, we just got back from another walk and just said hello to my parents. They live down the road. We just went to go say hi to the kiddos um, because it was their first day of school. So that was nice and Sage got to say hello. But I'm just gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna breastfeed Sage and then Matt's gonna get her ready for bed since she fought her second nap. So she's going uh, to bed a little bit early, like half an hour early today. But I'm just gonna have one of these little granola bars. This is like such a back to school snack. These are the chocolate chip granola bars. I just have them here in my office because when you need a snack, like look how cute they are. I'm actually, not in this video, but I'm actually doing a campaign with them that I'm very excited about because I basically lived off of these 
near the end of my pregnancy and during the, like the first like the fourth trimester the newborn stage with sage because like I'd always be hungry when I was breastfeeding and I either was eating these or the my trail mix granola bars from the cookbook from the health nut cookbook so I'm gonna have one of these now and then I'm gonna feed sage and then Matt's gonna take over mm. so I'm gonna feed sage I gotta finish reviewing this week's Wednesday video, which is my 6 a.m. morning routine video. I'll link it here if you have not watched it yet. And then I gotta figure out what we're having for dinner. I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm craving yet, so maybe I will ponder that while I breastfeed Sage and eat this snack. <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so Somewhere in the grave all right, it is the next day and I totally forgot to end the vlog yesterday. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my blog post. I'm gonna have it linked down below as well as I have a full playlist on other what I eat in a day videos that will be linked down below for you guys to check out as well. If you guys like these types of videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.